Herr Chancellor, blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands, you shall eat. Blessed are you, and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. Today our church celebrates the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. And we thank God for choosing St. Joseph be the husband of our blessed mother, the foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And St. Joseph was a quiet worker and took care of blessed mother and also our Lord Jesus Christ. So we pray for all the workers, all those are people who dedicate to take care of others. So let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels that have sinned, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God and the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of all sins, who laid down for human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the reward you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bound of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called one body, and be thankful. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart as for the Lord and not for me, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance, be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, the Lord gives success to the work of our hands. The Lord gives success to the work of our hands. 
Before the mountains we begat, we begat in, and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, Lord give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, seeing, return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight, as uh, are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give us success to the work of our hands. Teach us to the number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servant. Lord, give us success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and glad and gladness all our days. Let your works be seen by your servants and, glo and your glory by your, their children. Lord, give us the chance to the work of our hands. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation, who bears our burdens. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get us such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? In not his mother named Mary, and his brother James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate St. Joseph, the worker, and uh, we all admire St. Joseph and his faith, especially, and how he demonstrated in his life uh, when angel appeared to him uh, while he had, uh, uh, he had found out that Mary was conceived uh, without relation. Uh, he wanted to dismiss Mary as uh, his uh, spouse or wife. But uh, when angel appeared to him, I uh, simply says, uh, take Mary as your wife. So he took Mary as his wife. Then we hear a few times in the gospel recorded uh, in the dream uh, when angel says, uh, get up and take Mary and uh, Jesus to Egypt. He went and then after Herod died and the angel again said to him, and take uh, Mary and Joseph and go back to uh, Israel than he did. So that's uh, his faith always demonstrated uh, in his life. And we know from the moment that uh, uh, God through an angel to instruct him and take Mary as his wife, his life has changed. And he know his mission and he know that uh, God has given his uh, 
uh, this great task uh, to really to be the foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, of course, uh, we didn't hear he say any word uh, in the scriptures. And there's no word altered. But we know he was a carpenter and worked very hard uh, to really foster Jesus Christ and uh, really take care of our Blessed Mother. And usually we're thinking, yeah, in the church tradition or some uh, tradition, uh, we're thinking that Joseph probably was an old man. He always depicted, depicted as an old man. But uh, imagine that uh, uh, Joseph had to really take care of Jesus and uh, walk a long way from Israel uh, to Egypt back and forth. And uh, uh, actually, there's no definite age uh, how old he was when he married, uh, uh, when he uh, took uh, Mary as his wife at that time. But uh, oftentimes we depict him as an old man, but uh, it really requires a lot of energy and strength to do such a thing. And so uh, the church or the tradition depicted him as an old man simply because probably uh, they said, oh, old man doesn't require uh, physical relationship, so he kept his chastity. But uh, in the other way, uh, uh, I don't think uh, that's a right way to depict uh, St. Joseph. He know uh, his faith. Uh, also, Jesus Christ, uh, taking care of Jesus Christ, really <laughs> requires and uh, prompt him uh, to be uh, just uh, in his life. And in that way, uh, he really totally dedicated his whole life to, to God and to the Holy Family. Uh, yes, Holy Family consists of St. Joseph, Mary, and uh, also Jesus Christ. And they lived a very holy life. What is really holy life? Really listen to God's will and uh, discern God's will, then follow and do what uh, God uh, commanded them to do. So that's a truly a holy life. So it seemed uh, Joseph's life was hidden. He was behind Jesus' work. And uh, we, we can imagine when Jesus was young, he must taught Jesus and uh, also uh, taught him to work together with Jesus Christ in carpentry and uh, worked uh, to uh, really have a beautiful life in this world. And Joseph, uh, we believe that he passed away before Jesus' uh, passion and uh, suffering and death. But uh, also, uh, Joseph really participated in Jesus' work, um, missionary work, and also in Jesus' passion. In a way, he sacrificed his life, his whole life, by dedicating to the Holy Family, by taking care of uh, our Blessed Mother and Jesus Christ. How he did all the work behind uh, Jesus Christ, especially raised him, uh, and also uh, to be the foster father of Jesus. So, yes, uh, Jesus did a tremendous work, and he started to preach the gospel, bring the gospel to others, and Jesus went through death and uh, also resurrected from the uh, dead to give, uh, bring us salvation. And all this, uh, uh, there's a person behind, that is uh, St. Joseph. And so we honor him uh, because of his dedication, because of uh, his obedience to God and his faith in God and in Jesus Christ, and to live with Jesus Christ, and uh, to really endure the long years of uh, um, hard labor and requires faith and requires dedication to the Lord. So we know sometimes we admire uh, a lot of uh, great work and a great achievement in our life. And, but uh, there's always somebody behind to support 
uh, to really pray or to really put in hard labors. So we enjoy our life in this world every day, and we have a beautiful day. But uh, imagine all the food we partake in, all uh, the things we enjoy in this world. There's always somebody behind. And St. Joseph did what exactly God asked him to do and do the work behind. So we give God thanks for the things we enjoy. But uh, today, uh, St. Joseph, the worker, we honor him, but we also remember oh, all those people who made our life possible. Uh, so many people working behind. Uh, those are especially labors, uh, manual labors, and they work very hard and to really <coughs> uh, made it possible for us to enjoy our life uh, today. So we pray today, especially for the labors, and we also seek St. Joseph's uh, intercession. And St. Joseph is always there. And we do, a, a, a lot of times we do not really pay attention in our prayer to him, but today we seek his intercession. Inter, intercession. And St. Joseph is a very powerful intercessor. And even when we want to sell a house, uh, when we really uh, pray for the success of our hands, and St. Joseph always there to intercede for us. So let us honor those workers, uh, quiet workers, and also we pray that we always be grateful for the things we enjoy, and uh, because many people uh, work very hard um, for our enjoyment. Let us stand and offer our prayer to our loving God. Let us pray for the church. May we always follow St. Joseph's example and to be obedient to God's will and uh, to work for the spread of the good news. Let us pray to the Lord uh, for all missionaries throughout the world. May they imitate St. Joseph's example, be faithful uh, to our faith, and uh, continue to spread the gospel in different nations. Let us pray to the Lord. And uh, we pray for our Pope Francis, and all the bishops, may God keep uh, our Pope Francis in good health and continue to lead and guide us. Let us pray to the Lord. And we especially pray for all workers, uh, especially manual workers. May God give them strength and reward them, not only in this uh, world, but in the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Um, let us pray for all young people who are discerning the call of our Lord. And may they imitate St. Joseph, heed the word of the Lord, and follow Jesus Christ closely. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the sick, all those people who have been recommended into our prayer. So in intercession of St. Joseph, may they receive healing. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all our beloved deceased. And today we especially pray for Father David Kidingale. Let us pray to the Lord. Now in silence our heart, we offer our own prayers. For the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. 
grace and loving God, <laughs> we offer all our prayers and petitions to you. May you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gift we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and sent as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was in, conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominion, adore, powers, tremble before you, heaven and the virtue of the heaven, and bless seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we bring before you and by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Sotor of Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember Father David and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and blessed St. Anne and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. God only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having fed upon the heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our heart the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A message ended, go in peace. Good to see you all. Have a blessed day.